It's a done deal. After months of speculation, Ford has purchased the Michigan Central train depot. Now, what was once an icon of Detroit's decline will be transformed. Of course, the only question now is what it will become. Business editor Rod Maloney shows us what's at stake here and how this one project could transform the city. A century ago, when Detroit was second only to New York City, this was the place to be, the train station. Over time, it diminished in many ways. By 1992, when the Maroon family bought the place, it really fell into disrepair. The Maroons say they wanted a redevelopment, couldn't do it profitably. That is until today. And now Detroit's redevelopment goes into overdrive. Now former owner Matthew Maroon delivered an I told you so moment. The depot will become a shiny symbol of Detroit's success and progress. Ford Motor Company's Blue Oval will adorn the building. This after the city council ordered the building demolished in 2009. Maroon and his father wanted to rebuild the place, but instead greenlighted a giant development Ford plans for the depot in the next door book depository. I know that the city was, was, was looking for a, a moonshot with Amazon, but I think we got what's really fitting for our city. We haven't often gotten good looks at the inside of the old ornate classic. Actor Shia LaBeouf made it a movie star a decade ago in the first Transformers. Ford's Syed Deep tells us its pending transformation remains top secret. For all of us who've grown up here, it's an exciting day for the city. It's an exciting day for Ford, right? And um, together with the community here, right, we'll announce our plans for Michigan Central Station and Corktown on June 19th. Richard Gonzalez and Alvia Flores live in the neighborhood. He played hooky from work today to hear the historic announcement. It's going to make it more beautiful than it already is. And this is what we needed for the city of Detroit to come back together as it was when we were kids. Now, we don't know how much Ford paid for it, certainly in the millions, but we don't know how many. We'll probably get that over time. In the meantime, it took about 30 seconds for Matthew Maroon to leave the press conference when they started moving construction crews. And it's obvious Ford wants this thing really worked on and finished as soon as it possibly can. Back to you. And Rod, like you say, it seems like it's more, uh, it's more than just the train station. Do we know what Ford wants to do there in Corktown? Well, we know that they've already purchased buildings around the corner that they're going to use for their, uh, their autonomous vehicle program. And you get the idea that perhaps they're going to make sort of an autonomous vehicle village using the train station, uh -huh. the book depository, and other buildings in that vicinity. And uh, also remember that Ford is looking very heavily at this notion of, of uh, autonomous vehicle cities. And so they may end up trying to turn that whole area into something akin to that because they'll be able to do that if they, uh, they own the property or get permission to use the roads that way. Yeah, it'll be certainly something to see. Uh, like most people, just happy that that building's going to stay around. All right, Rod. Thanks.